I'm Nikki Fitzgerald and you're watching Adorama TV. Today we're going to be looking at the world through this fantastic 4-in-1 Holoclip lens. It's great for wider images, packing more into your photographs, but it's also brilliant at bringing great clarity and magnification of those tiny details in photographs. Adorama TV presents iPhoneography with Nikki Fitzgerald. Now you already know that the iPhone is a great photography tool, especially with all the apps available inside the software on the phone. But add that together with things like the Holoclip lens that you can put on the outside of your phone, it's going to open a whole new load of creative possibilities. This is a great little lens, it's well made, it's very light to carry and it's small enough to put in your pocket, even if you do happen to wear skinny jeans. Now don't let the size fool you, this little lens can take some pretty impressive photos. Now it comes with four lenses, it's got the fish eye and the wide eye, wide angle, and underneath that is a little back row lenses which you access simply by unscrewing. Now for easy identification, they've got just under the little covers here, you've got the names etched on the lens, so you can see which are which. And also it comes with a little bag, so that will give you a little bit of extra protection in your pocket. And also this brilliant thing, this very smart lanyard with a little clip, easy to carry around. It just snaps into the clip like so and it's easy to take out again. So we'll snap that in. You can put that around your neck and you'll never lose it. These are tiny so that's really really handy. Hi, Nikki Fitzgerald here for Adorama. Be sure to check out Adorama's latest contest to win prizes. So here we are at the Upside Down House, courtesy of Dream Cottages, and we're going to be look, taking a look at the different lenses of the Holoclip set. We're going to be taking a look at the standard photo, and then the fish eye, and then the wide eye, and see what results we can get. So here we are with a lovely view here of the dining room at the Upside Down House, and you can see here we've got the three chairs in view, and just clipping the edge of this cupboard here. So let's take a photograph, we'll take it with the timer, because that means we won't get any blur, it'll be nice and steady, a sharp shot. Now let's attach the wide eye lens and see what the difference is. Okay, we've attached the wide lens, nice and easy to put on, and you can see instantly we've got almost double our view. We've got the chair on the left here, we've got much more space here to the right of the cupboard, now, this is going to be great if you're trying to sell your home. You can, they look really spacious, these kind of wide eye, wide angle photographs. Lots more at the top and bottom. Great for landscapes as well. And also group shots where you can get lots of people in your shot. Let's swap that onto the fisheye lens. Now, let's have a quick look. <laughs> let's get that on. This old... OK, we've got the fisheye lens on now and you can see instantly the difference. The straight lines have all curved at the outer edge. You've got lots more in this shot, a really quirky look. Now this is great for bulbous things like classic cars or skate parks that already have curves, or also architectural buildings where you've got lots of straight lines. They will really curve those lines. Now just to show you, uh, to demonstrate that, the effect of that, if we look at this board here, you can see the vertical straight line in the middle and the horizontal straight line going across the frame, they're quite straight, but look what happens as they get to the outer edge. Now that's going to happen with your photographs, just something to bear in mind when you're taking images with the photo with a fisheye lens. Very quirky, great for group shots, four or five of you in the frame, great for selfies. Have some fun with these lenses, fisheye and the wide eye, really great fun. Experiment and see what you can get. Well, it would be pretty pointless to take a close-up macro photo of a big white scene. So I've got my little cactus here, and we're going to take a standard photo, a 10 times photo, and a 15 times photo. So let's take the standard photo first. Okay, I've just got that lined up nice and sturdy on my tripod. I've got the exposure right, and I'm going to use the timer, just by clicking the timer button, to take that photograph. That'll keep that nice and steady. Now, where are the macro lenses? Well, they're housed just underneath the bigger lenses, the fish eye and the wide eye, and you simply unscrew them to access the tiny little macro lenses. So let's take a macro of our cactus with the 10 times, first of all, and see how that looks. So we'll just clip that on, put it in place. You need to get it really near, like about a centimetre away. And there you can see there's lots of those little cactus spikes showing beautifully clear under there. Now this little 10 times lens is absolutely great for getting a wide range of textures in detail. There's more of the area in detail. The 15 times will give you less 
and more of a distortion around the outside. So let's have a look through the 15 times, where again, we just access the little lens by unscrewing the wide eye, or the fish eye, pop that on the corner there, snap it on, easy into place, get in really close again, and then we've got that fantastic spike. Now that looks absolutely wonderful. I can see the fluff right at the bottom of that spike, which wasn't possible with the 10 times lens. Now that's the difference you're gonna get bigger pictures, more magnification, you're gonna get pin sharp in the middle, a little bit more distortion on the outside. Now this is great if you're taking bugs and you just want their little tiny faces in focus and you want the outside all pushed out, it will bring attention to that little bug's face. The 15 times lens, you know, different again, great for pin sharp detail in the middle. The Oliclip lens packs a whole bundle of fun into photography. And don't forget, it's not just photography, you can use it for video as well. Attach the fisheye lens to your iPhone camera, and this is going to give you a really interesting, quirky video, especially where you've got built up areas with straight edges around the outside. Together with the apps and the Oliclip lens, this is going to open up a whole new load of creative potential. So, what are you waiting for? Grab your iPhone, grab your lens, and get out there and shoot. And don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV where you can find lots more information on iPhoneography related items and new products. Let us know what you think, like, comment and share on our videos and also hop over to the Adorama Learning Centre and you'll find lots more hints, tips, tricks and tutorials about all things photography and lots of information on our new products. See you next time. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.